In days of yore, it was noticed that pieces of art, which were considered examples of true perfection, had golden ratio and greatly influenced people. We at Assignment Experts strive for perfection, so today we will explain what is the golden ratio and how we can use it. But first of all, let's consider an interval. Point C divides interval AB in the golden ratio if AB refers to AC in the same way as AC refers to BC. So golden ratio is the division of a quantity into two unequal parts, whereas the bigger part refers to the smaller part in the exact same way as the whole quantity refers to the bigger part. This reference is a rational fraction, square root of 5 plus 1 over 2, which gives us approximately 1.618. People have always been searching for perfection in everything. Ancient Greeks, for instance, used to believe that everything complies with the laws of harmony. And in 17th century, the golden ratio was observed even in biology. The golden ratio principles of beauty and harmony was applied by artists, architects, and sculptors in their masterpieces. Golden proportions occurred, for example, in the ancient Greek temple of Parthenon which is famous for bringing aesthetic pleasure and having an impact on the emotional state of its viewers. If we look at the temple, we will see that the height of the temple refers to the height of its lower part in the same way as the height of the lower part refers to the height of the upper part. and also in the same way as the width of the temple refers to the sum of width of all the columns. The golden ratio refers not only to fruits of human activity, but to humans themselves. German researcher of the golden ratio, Zeising, measured more than 2,000 human bodies and concluded that it's a manifestation of a medium statistical law, which is the division of a body at the point of the navel. So the height of a human being, A, refers to the height of his lower part, B, in the same way as the lower part, B, refers to the upper part, C. This is similar to the Parthenon temple we discussed earlier. So he found out that proportions of a male body is 13 over 8, which gives us 1.625, and it's a little bit closer to the golden ratio than proportions of a female body, 8 over 5, which gives us 1.6. These proportions can be found in other body parts as well shoulders, arms, palms, finger length, and so on. If we write down numbers expressing the length of the segments that fall under the golden ratio rule, we will get Fibonacci numbers, which is the sequence of numbers in which each next number is equal to the sum of two previous numbers. So the sequence looks like this. One, then one and nothing gives us one. Then we get two, three, five, 8, 13, 21, and so on. Now we know enough about golden ratio, so let's get practical with this topic. I'll give you some advice on how to incorporate golden proportions into your everyday life. First, let's cover sports. If you're a gym rat and you care about your physical appearance, you need to somehow check your progress. Ancient statues of gods and heroes were representations of perfect male and female bodies, where the man's stature is characterized by broad shoulders, while women's stature is by feminine hips. These statues were created using golden proportions, 
So all we have to do is to multiply our waist circumference by the golden ratio to get the perfect circumference of shoulders for a man or hips for a woman. So for example, if we take a girl with waist circumference 60 centimeters, then her hips should be 60 times golden ratio and we get 97 centimeters. So this is somewhere close to the modern 90-60-90 standard. And if we take a guy with waist circumference 80 centimeters, then his shoulders should be 80 times golden ratio and we'll get 128 centimeters. Try it and post your results in comments if you want to. But keep in mind that this is only approximation, so use it for fun. Other example comes from team sports. Suppose you play basketball and you want to give a bounce pass to your teammate. Imagine you're A and your body is B on the interval we talked about in the beginning. The perfect way to give this pass is to hit this C spot on the interval. In this case, the ball will bounce off the floor perfectly and gets right into the hands of your partner. You can also make use of golden ratio in art, as the great masters of the past did. Say you're a novice photographer and you want to improve your artwork right away. The easiest method is to divide the frame by two vertical and horizontal lines in the golden proportions. And then to try to place the main objects or characters on the lines or intersection points or as close to them as possible. In this case, most of the time you will get better results. Modern cameras have some sort of grid built in, so just use it and benefit from it. These are only a few examples on how you can use golden ratio in your everyday life. You can easily think of many other applications, so we are waiting for your propositions in the comments below. Goodbye, guys.